What's up guys, Sleepy here, and today this is the first of hopefully maybe many top five videos, and I'm excited to start something like this. I'm excited to start this. Um, obviously, I would like some maybe critique on what I could improve here because I've never done anything like this before. But I've always wanted to do these, and I see tons of other people do them, and it's like, I really like talking about my own opinions, so I feel like these would be really fun to start doing, maybe every Saturday, you know? And for now, I think I'm gonna start by going through the types, and then I'm gonna start introducing Stranger Things as I get more used to kinda doing these top five things. Um, but I, again, I would like some, uh, you know, thoughts on what this video will be, and etc etc stuff like that give me suggestions ideas uh the graphics are by my friend john blight wings he's amazing i love the simplistic look to these so sit back and enjoy my opinions might not be as standard as most opinions so hopefully this will be a little unique as compared to most others now to start, uh, number five was on the thumbnail. I feel like that's what I'm gonna do is stick the fifth one on the thumbnail, but then that's kind of spoiler, but at the same time, no one really cares for number five, do they? Number five for me was Lick Licky, and, um, I, I just feel like, like, it was, I really like, like, Lick Tongue's okay. I don't really care for Lick Tongue, but Lick Licky is... a, a big doof, and he's super, like, it's, he has this weird, like, this weird air to him. He's 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 a he's a doof. He just looks like a doof, and he feels like a doof. Like look look at him. And this this picture obviously does him great justice. He looks super adorable in this picture. But um, I just mean in general, he's he's a cute weird Pokemon. Fourth gen introduced like a lot of these uh, evolutions that were like from earlier generations and they just kind of like threw out all these evolutions that took a little while to adjust to most of them did most of them were pretty pretty weird but um i must say above all of them licky licky is a big doof he is, he is so funny looking and i really like that about him um he can curl in his tongue but he mostly doesn't and I feel like that makes him even funnier. He kind of looks like a big, like, baby with a bib or something. And he, he has, like, the, the little, like, baby hair curl going on. And he's just, it's, he's, <laughs> look at him. He's so funny. And, uh, that's why he's number five. Now, I know there are, like, a decent amount of normal types. I actually, actually, like, I do like a few that I didn't include in the running really because they were also flying and I feel like normal flying kind of has its own category maybe I'll do like a top five birds eventually but I didn't really want to stick any birds in this just because like they're all flying they're all normal type if they don't have a secondary typing you know so anyway that has nothing to do with Lick Licky Lick Licky is my boy he is um just incredible he's, he's <laughs> he just makes me laugh every time I look at him and I feel like that's a really really redeeming quality for him uh, he, he was really funny. He was in the manga and stuff. I remember him from all that stuff. Uh, I don't really remember him from the anime, but basically he's like one of my top favorites of the fourth gen evolutionary lines. Like the, the post game kind of, right? Weren't they all like in the national decks rather than the other decks? Anyway, he's my fave. Five. He's my fifth favorite. And there were a lot of runner-ups, let me tell you. And I'll probably get to them after the video, but... There were a solid number of runner-ups for this, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of my top five, because there were a lot that I actually debated putting in, and I just didn't. So let's move on without further ado to number four. Number four is Exploud, and Exploud has a special place in my heart. He evolved from Whismer. Which is one of my favorite, uh, he, he basically is one of my favorite Hoenn lines, in general. Uh, x is super cool. I always supported there being a sound type, and I know it's probably not gonna happen, but if there was a sound type, he would definitely be a sound type. Uh, there's a sound type in Azurite. <laughs> but, uh, he, he's just, he's not, like, great, but he does get Hyper Voice, which is really cool. Uh, I have tried to use him competitively, but I'm not the most competitive person in the world, which is probably why these top fives are going to be a little different, because I, they're not competitively based, despite the fact that we do have stat markings here. But, um, he's, he's very, he's very unique, 
to me. He's very cool. I, I feel like a lot of people weren't, like, didn't really connect with a lot of the Hoenn lines. They're kind of weird. They're kind of out there. Definitely a big mix-up from, like, Hoenn, or, uh, Kanto and Johto. I feel like Hoenn was a big step in a new direction, and it introduced a lot of Pokemon that some people weren't okay with. Some people were, you know, but... Honestly, Exploud is one of my favorite of the Hoens. He's just really cool. His whole line, honestly, in general. Uh, I also like Loudred, but I must say Exploud is, like, the coolest. He has those weird, crazy horn things on his head that, like, let out sound. He's just a huge speaker, and he just, he's really loud, and that's, that's, like, funny to me. I don't know. I know, <laughs> I don't think this top five was supposed to be based on how funny Pokemon are, but he's, he's cool. Uh, I really enjoy him. For who he is, Bakuong, if that's his Japanese pronunciation. Um, he, he can close his mouth, and he does close his mouth uh, in the newer games. Uh, I believe in, like, Oros, he has his mouth closed, whereas in every other game, his mouth was open. And his mouth drops all the way, and he does open it for animations, and it's like, it, it goes, it's huge. He has a huge, <laughs> he has a huge mouth. Um, you can't really tell in this picture specifically, but his, his mouth is very large. And... It's, it's really interesting that he can, like, drop, he can drop his jaw and then just explode sound. I don't know, that's, that's probably why he's one of my favorites. Mostly because I think a lot of normal types are compensating for types that don't actually exist. Now, Licky Licky obviously fits pretty, pretty normally in the normal type. If he were to be retyped, maybe a saliva type. No, that's kind of gross. But I feel like x -Blood could be retyped as sound, so that's kind of what makes him one of my favorite. Is he has that, he has that... He has that uh, non-existent typing backing him up. A lot of Pokemon do with the soundproof ability. Um, usually have such a thing. So he's really neat. I have used him competitively. And now I'm going to move on to number three. Number three is Meloetta. And this is like... I, I think this is allowed. <laughs> I think I'm allowed to pick Meloetta. Uh, normal types on both forms, so why not, right? Meloetta is one of my, honestly, one of my top, like, maybe top 30. I really like Meloetta. Um, I did the stats bars on this page, like, pertaining, basically, her normal form first, and then pirate form are the orange bubbles. Uh, it does change, obviously, back and forth, depending on who it is. But, um, it is, she's very unique. She's very unique. She's an interesting Pokemon. The fact that she changes through a move. She she changes forms through a move. And I feel like that really mixes it up for her. She, again, would be a sound type. I didn't even realize that 4 and 3 are both sound types. Maybe 2 and 1. You don't know yet because you haven't seen that part of the video unless you already have and you're rewatching it for some reason. I don't know. But um, anyway, she is really cool. Meloid is really cool. She's almost like a pixie, but her obviously her stats don't mirror that. But... She's just very, she's very unique. I feel like 5th Gen had really cool Pokemon as well. A lot of people hate on 5th Gen Pokemon, and I feel like 5th Gen Pokemon are really cool. They're, I, I'm a big fan of most of them, and Meloetta is no exception. Now, she, it is kind of strange. She's extremely, like, she's humanoid, but not really. She's like a small human, and that's kind of what I don't like about her. But it's not like that's really a bad thing. It's just, Pokemon are, like, not, Pokemon aren't animals they're like a whole new tier this is almost she's almost like a subset a subspecies of human kind of except that she can suddenly change form into a fighting type and like kick you in the face but i don't know she's she's interesting melo is interesting and she she really like shines out to me i was looking at a huge list of normal types this was super hard for me to pick just five i'm a huge fan of like every single pokemon so I don't really like it was it was really difficult for me to pick a top five and I feel like it's this is this is I feel like these are really my top five and I'm going with them I'm going with them because these are my faves uh, their shinies are actually really cool as well I'm a big fan of their shiny it really like changes them up I believe normal goes to like light blue and then pirate goes to pink which is kind of cool like they're they're like slight differences in color and it's kind of neat to me um I just think Meloetta is really awesome. I'm sorry, I don't have more <laughs> reasoning than that. Again, the whole sound typing thing kind of backs it up because I'm a big fan of that non-existent type. But also, just the fact that she can change forms through song. Like, she can sing a song and change forms. I feel like that's really cool. And, uh, obviously, Pirate form doesn't get as much use as it could because it can't be started as Pirate form. 
and so that kind of means that you have to use a special move to change to her physical form, which kind of limits her a little bit, I feel like. But, um... Her physical form is really strong, and it's really cool. So, I feel like that's kind of also awesome. And, with that, I'm gonna move on to number two. Now, number two is, fittingly, Porygon 2. Porygon 2 is, like... Porygon 2 was almost number one before number one became number one. Like, Porygon 2 is top tier for me. I love Porygon 2. As far as my competitive career, I was more competitive at the end of, like, 5th gen. And Eviolite Porygon 2, let me tell you, was my fucking... My, he, was, he was the best. He was my favorite of everything. I just didn't even, like... I don't know, man. He's... He's... He's, he was, he was in a tight running for number one spot, but he didn't get it, but he's, he's my favorite. Normal type, besides number one, <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but he's, he's awesome. Like, he's super bulky, Eviolite helps a lot. I, I like Porygon Z, I like the whole Porygon line, don't get me wrong there. Porygon Z, really cool. Would love to see, like, a Mega Porygon Z. Would love to see an alternate evolution for Porygon 2 called Porygon 3 that would maybe be like if it wasn't a glitched version like Porygon Z is. I feel like Porygon 3 would be like the ultimate like perfected Porygon. But Porygon 2, super nice, has a nice set of moves, has nice bulk, he gets recover, he gets try attack which is somewhat common with Z I feel like more so than him. But he's, he's just really awesome. He's super cute also. He's like a little duck thing. And I feel like that's so cool. I don't know. I'm just like, he's man-made, which is also awesome. Um, it's it's just really a unique Pokemon. It's kind of weird to me that he can breed. But I guess that, I don't know. Like, he's man-made. We created something that can breed through some method that we aren't even aware of what's happening. Or maybe they just keep kids in the dark. And that's why we don't know how they breed. But, like, they don't have, like sexual organs as far as we know i don't know but that's also off topic i told you guys i really like to just talk about things but um porygon 2 number two he's really cool he gets trace which is a pretty neat ability now you can run analytic and i just said it wasn't competitive but i'm just saying you can run analytic if you run like lower speed because analytic is definitely powerful but for porygon 2 i tend to run trace just because you can really get some creative mix-ups out there someone sent out a Greninja you can get protein Porygon too that's neat trace is a neat ability and I was I'm always like a big fan of that uh, but he's he's super cool he's super bulk he's got nice special attack he's super bulk with an Eviolite of course I wouldn't run him without one but he's just like he's he's awesome. I, I really like his design. I really like his uses. I really like him in competitive and in general he's like top two, obviously, because he's number two on our number five list. But who's number one? Well, if you know me well enough, you probably saw this coming. Yes, number one is Furret. Furret is the cutest cuteness ever i love for it it's like it's it's honestly my favorite pokemon and maybe that spoils my top five all-time favorites but i don't care it's very furry is my favorite pokemon and i almost skipped over him for this and the rankings were totally different and then i was like wait like i didn't even see him when i made my list of normal types and i was like wait fur it's a normal type because for me fur is on a whole other plane of existence fur it is above normal types because fur it is the cutest coolest Pokemon in the entire world you don't understand that this thing is so awesome it has these tiny little stubby arms and its body is like super long it says 511 for height that's not height that is um its length a lot of people get confused about that people think that for it might be like super tall like five foot no it's five feet 11 inches long which is also super adorable and also pretty big so if it, it was stretched out it would be that but it's probably around the three foot mark if it stood up without its tail and its ears and you know so uh it's super cute has these tiny little stubby hands and it learns moves like fire punch it gets stuff like that and it's so adorable and it's my favorite it's one of my favorites of all time probably best ever um 
you know, it's just super awesome. He learns tons of cool stuff. He gets Surf. He gets U-Turn. He gets Grass Knot, Shadow Claw, Focus Blast. Now, his stats aren't that great, but, like, who needs stats? Am I right? Um, <laughs> now, I, I tried to give him justice by filling in some of these stat bars halfway to really show that he is the best. But he's not that great competitively at all. He None of his stats go over 100 or even over 90, which is kind of sad. His defenses are 64 and 55. His special attack is 45. His attack is 76. His HP is 85 and his speed is 90. That's not ideal. But look how cute he is. He's adorable. He's he's awesome. His name is Utachi in Japanese. Jip banana the bananas oh my god I have so many um he is amazing he's he's if I were to travel the world with a Pokemon my partner would be for it now my spirit Pokemon would definitely be Jirachi don't get me wrong Jirachi is top tier but obviously it does not fit in a normal competition prefer is my favorite Pokemon Jirachi is my spirit Pokemon I would, I would have a Jirachi Guardian, but I feel like if Pokemon were to be real, now these Pokemon, they are, um, like, there's not that many Jirachi, I wouldn't, like, I feel like everyone's always like, oh, I would own Arquaza, like, no, you're not gonna own Arquaza, dude, just stop, just stop, that's not gonna happen, like, no, like, there's one Rayquaza, and it flies around in space, maybe there's two, we don't know, but, like, you're not gonna catch it, dude, you're not the hero, don't get so full of yourself. But anyway, for it, super, 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 super adorable. For it is amazing. I love him so much. So that's it. That's the that's the top five favorite normal types. Now, again, I would enjoy feedback on this. I don't exactly have my thoughts in order. I didn't write anything down. I'm not a fan of scripted videos. I can do them. And like, when I do like Poke News Sunday and stuff, I usually follow a list of things that I at least talk about, but I'm not big on just reading off of a script. I really like just kind of talking for myself. And uh, because my, my when I start talking, my brain just kind of goes on and on and on. And I feel like that's good for top fives. I feel like I can keep talking about top fives. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like some maybe critique, not on my top five choices. Tell me your own top five choices, that's fine. But if you're gonna tell me I'm wrong about my top five, the truth is you're wrong about your top five. Just kidding. I would love to hear your own top fives as well. I'm going to try to go through all of the types for now. Uh, obviously, this is if I do this weekly, this is gonna take 18 weeks, which is a pretty long time. So I might throw in a few oddballs in there, here and there, but mostly it's, um, Mostly, I'm just gonna go, try to go through the types for now, and then, like, as time goes on, we'll find interesting things to do top fives on, stuff like that. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this top five normal types. I hope this was a good start to the top five series of mine, and I hope you guys are super amazing forever and ever, every day, for the rest of your life. And, I hope you're also happy. Thank you guys. For enjoying this think of this like a 50k celebrational new series kind of thing um sundays every sunday is pokey news so tune in tomorrow for pokey news tune in on monday for alpha sapphire supreme randomizer we got this channel is going strong right now and i want to keep this going i want to keep enjoying this time i hope you guys are enjoying this channel i'm i'm super happy with where we are right now and i'm super happy with where we're headed and i hope you guys are happy with it as well again critique down in the comments below your own top fives down in the comments below thank you again i really need to learn when to stop talking i love all of you guys and goodbye forever until the next video